welcome back to LaBib's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Kayled, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be talking about one of the baddest days of the year. <laughs> We're gonna celebrate it. Did you know that National Poetry Month is the month of April, and then we have National Poetry Day in October? But in between this important month and this important day, we have National Bad Poetry Day. So happy National Bad Poetry Day claps and celebrations all around. So in honor of National Bad Poetry Day, I have a stack of some poetry books for my collection and we're just gonna start making some really bad poems, like terrible, like horrendous. They are definitely not gonna make sense and I can't wait to see what chaoticness is about to ensue. So what I am going to do is I'm going to open up this book. I am going to be going like this and I open up to a poem, whatever that poem is, that's gonna be the form format for the poem. And then in a different book, I will blindfoldedly like pick out a page, do this, pick a word, whatever that word is that I point to, and we're gonna make a poem. So we are gonna start with a sun and her flowers and we're gonna, I feel like maybe this will be a short page. I don't know which page I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna go with a shorter one. I'm gonna go Break Your Glass Slipper by Amanda Lovelace, different, different poem girl. And we're gonna... First word is gonna be middle. Okay, now that we are done with book number one, this is the epic poem of bad, badness. Oh wait, I didn't, I didn't uh, name the poem. So I guess we're gonna name the poem through this one. So now let's do a dramatic reading of the poem that we just created. I haven't broken out my um, performance poetry skills since high school, so <laughs> this might be a little rough, but. Thing just throw. National Bad Poetry Day, 2023. Here we go. Middle on, master being yourself around. Charming, ashamed fairy opinions, don't you? Are the soundly, you, here, sizes try, that's herself, you've, that check, you grandmother. Inside, your for win, can instead. Notice, called, your sword to page. Your makes give foods to, opportunity, different signals. <laughs> How terrible. Was that poem? Um, let's move on to poem number two. I've called in some backup. I'm trying to go for a more lovey-dovey um, one this time around. So Icy Shiny Crown is going to pick out the format because I feel like maybe this could be shorter. I don't know. And then we're going to pick from Love by Night and hopefully we can have a lovey romantic poem that you can recite to your significant other and... <laughs> Hopefully their ears don't bleed. <laughs> Okie dokie, what poem is it going to be this page? Oh, well that's more of prose, so. Do 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 do. Okay, perfect. So the title has three words. This poem, definitely shorter than the last, thank goodness. Um, what are we gonna title this poem? I'm looking for three words. Oh, a, not a title or a word. Okay, we have sisters. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna re redraw on that one. <laughs> um, not a word, not a word. Hopefully, a word. Minding. Much better. Minding. 
Nope, no word. You, minding you, please give me something better. No word. The. Minding you the. I'm hoping this is romantic rather than tragic, but here we go, poem number two. Okay, poem number two is officially done. Also, totally forgot that I haven't finished this book. Like, I started, like, literally two pages in, and I've not finished it. A book of poetry, though. So, next up, we have poem number two. <coughs> um, let's, let's read this. Let's see what we got. This poem is titled, Minding You The National Bad Poetry Day 2023. They're just... There are how place feet much is. <laughs> Things moonlight how. Talking as remember, but glow will bitter sleep's twinkling. Two down. About heart, about movie. Light, weightless, off them, rumbling before. Danced, want, burrowed. Together edges War, you pets, eyes. <laughs> How terrible can these poems literally be? Because <laughs> I was hoping it would be a little bit more romantic and their speed and whatnot. Anywho, so poem number two. Last but not least, we are doing poem number three. A new page. Let's pick a new book. Um, ooh, I got just the book. Okay, so for our last poem, we are going to pick out of one of my favorite poems. So the length and the title will be determined by The Princess Says Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. And all the words that are going to be picked out are going to be The Universe of Us by Lang Leave, my favorite poetry book of all time. And the only book that I have annotated in my entire book collection, so... Let's see how long the poem's going to be. Okay, it's gonna be a short poem. Since there's no titles to the poems, we're just gonna to have to pick from Lang Leaves, but I got the format of what I want. It's gonna be super short, it's gonna be super nice. So, three words. I feel like this is the one that actually makes the most sense as a poetry title, What 4000 Said. Well, we're about to figure that out, so. So cue the music. Okay, our last poem is finally complete. <clears throat> what 4,000 said, National Bad Poetry Day 2023. <laughs> now being, when good, pendulum opening, version life. Still, a wild story, claim present. Gone one didn't heart. <laughs> oh, 
I like the last half. A wild story claimed present. Gone one didn't heart. I feel like that's like the most put together part of the entire three poems. And it had like the best title of the three poems that we have created today. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I would love to see if you do this video. I would love to see your bad poems in the comment section down below. Anyways, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you next time for a new video.